Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about ways to help you improve control over your maladaptive daydreaming. First of all, you need to motivate yourself. Uh, the maladaptive daydreaming is uh, extremely rewarding, so you need to remind yourself why is it important to you to spend less time in daydreaming. Remind yourself of the emotional price for continuing to daydream at the same rate and the emotional benefit of cutting down the price you pay for, for this habit and what you stand to gain from uh, being uh, in better control over your daydream. Write it down and uh, try to remind yourself uh, several times a day uh, of why is it in your interest to, uh, to improve your control over your daydreaming. Second is monitoring. Keep a daily record of the times you spend in your inner world. It will help you improve, improve your awareness of your day, daydreaming activity. And it will also assist you in following your progress by charting your weekly average of daydreaming time. Then there's, there are incompatible activities. You know that maladaptive daydreaming thrives in solitude. So when you identify an urge to daydream, you may want to think about calling a friend, talk to a family member, or engage in an activity that requires considerable attention and your complete concentration on it. Then uh, there are the mindfulness skills. Maladaptive daydreaming is about being oblivious to the external environment. Uh, teach yourself self uh, mindfulness skills uh, and, and practice these, uh, uh, these skills of, of being mindfully present in your body, in your environment, in whatever activity you engage in. Perhaps you could set your clock to prompt you to become mindful for a minute or two um, every, every hour or every few hours. And then mindfulness is often used as a self-medication. Uh, like other addictions, behavioral or, ch or chemical, many people with maladaptive daydreaming use their fantasy to ease their emotional pain. So if you have underlying uh, issues such as depression, anxiety, uh, or bad memories, uh, you may want to seek psychological help to resolve these underlying problems. Good luck.